All right, it's Nick16. This one's for you. Today, I'm gonna do my best to try to explain how to rejet your carburetor uh, so you can get more power and not blow up your bike or anything like that. One of the first things you're gonna have to do is actually buy new jets. So go on Amazon, get yourself an uh, overall jet pack. I'm gonna try to put it on screen around here. The first thing you're gonna wanna do on your carburetor is turn off your gas because we are gonna be removing the, the bowl, the fuel bowl. That is this thing right here. So go ahead and turn off your gas line. My little s switch broke off almost immediately, so I have to use this. Now that your gas line is off, we can start pulling apart the carburetor. Now, if you notice on the stock carburetor, there are two screws, one up here and one down here. This is for draining the fuel, and this is for actually removing the fuel bowl, which is this silver bowl looking thing right here. Now, because I'm lazy and didn't burn off all the fuel, there's gonna be a bunch of fuel leaking out. So do be prepared for that. Might wanna wear some gloves, but we don't do that around here. Okay, <laughs> I'm sitting down the can. All right, I loosened it. As you can see, there's already gas flowing. And this whole thing is just gonna come right back down. Yup, how nice. All that is gasoline. I'm going to have to wash my hands after. So if you look up in there, you're not going to be able to. There is the jet and then the long thing. The next tool you're going to want to use is a very thin flathead screwdriver. So you can actually get it up in, in this tiny hole. You're going to... Oh my goodness, I can't do this one-handed. But, oh, I just did. Be careful because these things... Not, okay, not the easiest to keep alive. So you screw this all the way up, going the wrong way. Wait, oh, okay. Yeah, lefty loosey. Uh, yeah, you just screw that thing out. Oop. So eventually, when you do get these two parts out, you're gonna find a long one like this, and then a short one like this. That part with the flat goes in bottom up, and how you rejet it, is taking this and replacing it with a bigger or smaller. This is how the fuel is going up into your carburetor and mixing with the air. Have too much fuel, you won't be able to start because your engine is going to be flooded. This one right here is, I, I won't even lie to you, I don't know what this one does. It also has a different sizing and you just got to play around with it, you know, just see what works. But I would advise getting the multi-pack on Amazon and just switching it out until you find out which one works best with your engine. If you can see, I have a kind of a small bore on this one and a larger one on this. So to put it back up, you stick it up in there, get this one in the right thing, take your screwdriver, gravity will be fighting against you the entire time. You're just gonna, yep. Screw back in. I know I'm horrible at explaining things, but I will get better, so bear with me. Trying to get cold out. It makes everything harder. Five minute projects always turn into 35. No way, I was going the wrong way the entire time. Don't tighten it too much, make sure it's snug. Then you uh, pop back on the bowl, get this bolt screwed on correctly. I like to align the drain. It doesn't really matter too much, but uh, I like to have it out, you know, just so I can use it just in case. Take your 10 mil, tighten it back up. <laughs> then you turn back on your gas line. And now you should have a fully rejetted carburetor and your hands should smell like gas. And if you start it up, 
actually turn it on. Should just run pretty good. Let it run for a little bit, just so it gets gas going through it. It should start up right away unless it's too cold to start up, which it definitely is, but it made it happen. But other than that, oh my God. Hope this video helped you guys out. If you have any more questions, leave them in the comments below. Subscribe, like, all that. Thank you guys. Peace.